that that could nature have said, well, you know, if people can't see it, then we're going to be more effective in infecting people, right? Making making people our hosts. Well, that's that's quite the concept, huh? And so, um, and 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 are there other um, known um, uh, worms like uh, nematodes or or you know parasitic worms or you know out there that that are visually elusive? Yeah, there are. Um, and uh, you can you can look at C. elegans as one prime example, which is a nematode, which is a round worm. And it's highly, highly studied in science, you know, because it's, it's a fascinating thing. It has a very, it's, 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 anyways, I just want to establish precedent that there, there are visually elusive organisms within our environments. Okay. Uh, so, so why not parasitic? And, and given how remarkably adaptive and, and evolved, um, parasites are and, and, and how successful they've been for 300 million years, then, then, wouldn't it? But the question for me would be not if there are parasites that have evolved to evade our visual processing abilities, but um, question would be like, well, why wouldn't there be? Like, it, it only makes sense that 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 uh, these organisms would have evolved to avoid uh, to exploit our over reliance on eyesight. Hmm. And interestingly, you know. We don't pay much attention to uh, a lot of our other senses, especially 